what we have as far as items in the throne room. Looks like we got the Legend of Zelda sprite for BTs and the Princess sprite for It's Too Early. Alrighty, got a Fighter's Ring. Very nice uh, for that uh, strength boost. And Stones of Sunlight here, one of those key items already in possession. And of course, a key. Uh, I, yep, BTs immediately sees the sixth strength and slaps that Fighter's Ring on. And uh, gonna be very happy to have that two attack power boost. No spells despite the 16 MP. Let's see what kind of. Oh, we got a cave right next to us. And. It looks like. I'm not sure what cave this is. This might be. Oh, wow! Metal Slime on its too early side. So, th with their strength as low as it is. This Metal Slime will not run away, but it has the Hurt More spell! Not gonna be killing Metal Slimes anytime soon. Axe Knight also taking BTs out. I think we had Swamp South, but I'm not quite sure. I don't imagine they're gonna be headed back into that cave anytime soon, though. Wow, that is a that is a sad, sad day when you get to see a metal slime with so little strength that you could easily take it out, but it has hurt more to take you out first. Alrighty, unless oh, excellent move out of BTS. He is going to be the first to level two, and let's see what that brings. Wow, a nice chunk of response speed, heal, and repel. Very valuable for both of these runners. Not much in terms of the other stats, though, unfortunately, but doesn't look like they're going to have too hard a time taking out some of these enemies. And another Kaishin no Ichigeki out of it's too early to uh, take out one of those red slimes. Poor red slime, I, I don't honestly think he deserves that. Alrighty, it's too early. Unfortunately, being taken out by a ghost was a little bit too strong for him. Still looking for that second level as BT's smartly grinding in the desert for those extra encounters, trying to uh, very, very close to that level three. Should make his way there shortly. Might get another Draki here. And unfortunately, it's too early. Not getting a lot of luck in these early encounters, getting a lot of things that are just a little bit out of his ability to fight. Not getting those red slimes and Drakis, getting those scorpions. And meanwhile, BTs just needs one more kill, and then we will see what he gets at level 3. And I could be wrong, but I don't believe it's too early to actually equip the Fighter's Ring. He may not have. I did not see if he did or not. But doing just two damage to this track, he suggests to me that he hasn't. Over on BT side, we do have level three. More response speed, a little bit more strength. The sleep spell is going to be nice for potentially taking out uh, some of these stronger enemies here. Might even be able to go for that scorpion if he wants to. And another Kaisha no Ichigeki out of BTs to take down this magician. One more of those will get him uh, level four, I do believe. Making very quick work of these weaker enemies is BT. He's very happy to sit here and grind another level. Let's see, is he going to try to sleep? Yes, he is. Puts the Scorpion to sleep. How much damage can he do? He can do three damage. Scorpion wakes up immediately. Let's go ahead and go maybe for that heal. No, wants to go for the sleep. And again, it's too early. Just trying to get anything going here. Going to get this red slime. Hopefully he can kill it. Yes, he is. Uh, four minutes and 30 seconds into the race, gonna finally get himself that second level, gonna be happy to see that heal spell. And meanwhile, BT's uh, bravely whacking away at the Scorpion, got one more shot, manages to kill it, 
gonna get himself level 4 off of that kill. Let's see what he gets here. 1 power, 5 response speed, 1 HP, 27 MP! Oh my goodness, heals for days, folks. I'm not seeing too much in the other stats, but that, that MP increase... We've actually seen the last few tournament races where uh, our runners have been MP starved. Not so in this case as BT's sitting on 48 MP, and I do believe his most expensive spell is Heal. So gonna, you know, he's got, what, about 16 of those at his disposal, so he's not gonna be hurting for, uh, you know, basic healing, especially with a max HP of 15. And, uh, Fun Police gonna send him back. Meanwhile, it's too early with another critical hit. Gonna take out this Magician and very close to level 3. Yes, this Draki will get him there. As soon as he takes it out, he'll be very happy to get that small boost in stats. Interestingly enough, it's too early running the name It's well, for a strength HP build while BT is running that lowercase z for an agility build. Uh, gonna have a little bit more strength than, or, uh, sorry, a little bit more HP than it's too early to start, and it's too early gonna have a little bit more agility, and then those stats are going to even out into the usual agility and HP boost as we move along here. Um, I think it's gonna be a little bit difficult for it's too early to take out that Scorpion. Gonna depend on the damage rolls here, as BT's uh, did take that death to the Red Dragon, got his HP and MP back, he's gonna have no problem taking out this Magician. Oh, it's too early, does manage to take down this, the, uh, the Scorpion. Gonna go ahead and immediately head back into the castle, gonna get his MP back and heal up and go out to fight some more things. Meanwhile, BT's Looking for that level 5, not too far away, in fact, with these scorpions here. If he can keep the scorpion asleep for a couple turns, uh, not quite going to get him there. Going to get him very close, not going to take him too long to get that level 5. Potentially debating, maybe crunching the numbers in his head. BT's doing a minimum damage hit. Two damage on that Scorpion was enough to take it out. Very, very close to level 5. As BT's does have a small experience point lead, but now that uh, It's Too Early has jumped out, as he's gotten himself that level. It's going to be fine. Simultaneous level ups here. BT's 8 strength. And a new spell, that spell is outside. That age strength gonna help out a lot. BT is gonna go back into this cave, which... Oh, this is the mountain cave. Yes, it looks like, based on BT's movements. Yep, there's the staircase in the top left corner. BT's knows his way through this cave, or perhaps has the cave loaded up on his phone or on another window. Runs into a metal slime. He got killed by a knight earlier. He doesn't know the secret. He does know now these metal slimes are holding on to that Hurt More spell. Not very viable. You know, if he was hoping to get himself a sneaky uh, shot right up to level 7, he knows now that that's not going to be viable. Meanwhile, it's too early. Take it out. A scorpion was kind of venturing his way out of zone zero, um, but not finding those stronger enemies just yet, just finding those enemies that he actually can kill. And maybe while BT's kind of tries to get through this mountain cave, maybe it's too early can uh, plug away at that experience deficit. Yes, BT's, you know, it's too early gonna get a little bit more time here as BT's gets taken out by a Drakima, which also has hurt more, sending him right back. Uh, to the castle, but it's too early, not far behind, uh, gets punched by one of those nasty wolves in the face and will also be sent back home. BT is being persistent, though. He's decided it's time. I want keys. I want Eredric's sword. I want whatever this cave has to offer. I don't care what's in here in terms of enemies. He knows that eventually RNG is going to go his way. He does make it to the first chest, does find himself some gold. And let's see if he can get away from this Drakey Mai. Yes, he can. 31 agility playing in his favor, but unfortunately... Oh! The Metal Slam runs away, allowing BTs to live right at that 23 strength. It, they, they can run away now. Alright, BTs doing his due diligence here. Gonna go up and left. 
If he can get away from this Wraith, yes he does. Gonna take these two chests here, we have Fairy Water, and... We have an herb, two more chests to go. It's too early, very, very close to getting that level five. Cutting uh, cutting right through that experience gap. And unfortunately, a Wraith Knight on BT's screen. And BT's taking a moment to think about it. Goes for the sleep, does get it. Gonna guarantee himself a chance to run here. And it looks like he has, I'm not sure if he's going for the corner chest or the one wait where let's see which chest he's going for here okay gets himself that corner chest gets himself another fairy water one more chest left to check here and it's too early does make it to level five so we are now on relatively even footing in the experience department and BT's finding himself a free dragon skill, so not a lot of things of importance here in the mountain cave, but with that outside spell, BT's is going to get himself out immediately, and now he is free to explore the rest of the map and see what he can see. You know, I have to say, I'm kind of surprised here at level 5. Uh, neither runner has made it out of the red for HP, so we're not seeing much HP gain even on the HP build right now. Yeah, this HP is, uh, phenomenally low is the way that I would put it. That is certainly one way to put it. BT is being, uh, going for the brave play here, gonna, <laughs> trying to uh, sleep and punch a metal scorpion, finding out that that's not the best idea. Uh, maybe if he could find one of those wolves that it's too early found earlier, he might be able to um, do some damage that way. But, oh, finding a cave and a town is BT's. Gonna find himself Wimmeldar. There is keys at the 12... At the 12 minute mark, BTs has found keys. How much money does he have, though? I assume he has money for at least one key. How many more can he buy? He's gonna be able to buy one, and that is it. Meanwhile, it's too early. One experience point away from going up a level on BTs. BTs choosing to explore. And, uh, oh. Okay, BTs had another key in his back pocket. Gets, a wi gets the wings out of Rimmeldar. And here it's too early. Five strength, 18 response speed, 17 MP. The agility and MP coming like wildfire. The strength and HP still... J disgustingly low for both runners. Leather armor pickup here for BTs. Bamboo pull, and I saw handbags. Um, did not did not catch what else was in that weapon. It was in that weapon shop, but a hand axe is available uh, if BTs wants to go and try to get more money out of the mountain cave, or I imagine he could um, also get some money out of Charlotte as well. Oh, I was looking. Okay. Forgive me, I was looking at BT's experience. He had more than enough gold to buy himself a ton of keys and some other nice goodies. Does get sent back by the uh, Fire Dragon Lord 2 Breath from the uh, Magidraki. Meanwhile, it, uh, it's too early. Again, not far behind BT's. Uh, gonna get sent home by this AK-47. And let's see what we have in the treasury. All right, I saw a torch and wings. I missed the other two chests, unfortunately. I missed the first chest, but the third chest was gold, so there is gold in the treasury. All right, so we do have a gold grind available to us. Uh, once, I imagine, BTs probably won't be going back into the mountain cave, but uh, if he can find himself the grave of Garenham, uh, he'll be able to set up a gold grind pretty easily. And it does look like we have Swamp South. Um, BT's not hitting the outside spell, interestingly enough. Gonna go ahead and walk this one out. And Metal Slime's here as well! Metal Slime gonna send BT's right back to the throne room. I'm curious if BT's knows that he could cast outside to get to the top of this cave. 
uh, immediately might not know that off the top of his head. Let's see if he tries it again. Oh man, wow! And the Metal Scorpions with Hurtmore too! Wow, every- with so many enemies in the sea with Hurtmore, it's too early being sent back immediately to start. Yeah, it looks like BTs might not know that he can just cast outside to immediately. So for anyone in chat who is unaware, if you are at the bottom end of the Swamp Cave, um, outside will always take you out of the north end. So BTs doesn't need to uh, walk through the cave like this. He could just cast outside and get to the other side. Um, <clears throat> it's too early, meanwhile... Finally going into Mountain Cave proper for the first time. Let's see if uh, he might be taking a second to load up his map to uh, try to get, it, get his way around in the dark. And um, I think he's got it figured out. Yep, there's that northwest staircase. And uh oh, he might try to fight this Drakima. Oh no. Okay, Drakima's also have stop spell. He can- Oh, and he takes it out! 14 HP! Gonna get himself a little bit more experience. Very nicely done. But, uh, it's too early. Might feel a little bit more brave than he otherwise should. Oh, there we go! Looks like BT's forgot that he had outside, but, uh, does, uh, heal himself up and does see that spell. Gonna take a first look at the second continent here, as it's too early gets sent back by the accident. Yeah, Ryu Seishin, uh, noting in chat, no, he is not responsible for this particular seed. I was the one who rolled it. I take full responsibility. As BTs find himself a swamp, he cannot walk through without healing, and gets sent back to start by a Magil Wyvern. So, yeah, this is, uh, it's gonna be rough going here. Oh, oh Druids with Dragon Lord 2 breath. Oh my goodness. Oh, we might get a second look here at these. Okay, so we got gold and a torch. I know one of these is wings. And I guess the other was also... Okay, it looks like there were two sets of wings here in the... Um... Oh, there was a key. Oh, okay. Okay. So now we know uh, what was in the treasury. And uh, BTs, I imagine, is uh, going to try to get back to Rimaldar to buy himself that hand axe. And then he'll be able to fight a lot more, a lot more things than he can right now. Excuse me. Yeah, it's too early. Going out and venturing, venturing forth on the map. And oh man, he's gonna get sent back by a werewolf. Unfortunately, I hope that it's too early. Can find Rimmeldar before too long here and get himself those keys. Because that is... So it's too early with the obvious experience leave, but BTs has keys, and that's kind of opening things up for him that it's too early, doesn't have access to yet. But it's too early doing what BTs did earlier, just going back into that mountain cave, wants to clear it out. He knows there is potential for there to be, uh, you know, Erdrick's sword or a key or, you know, a few other things that could potentially break this open for him. But we know that there's really nothing other than that gold on the top floor that is of any value to him at this point. And it's just up to whether or not BTs uh, can make up any of that experience deficit in the meantime, choosing to explore here. So both of our runners just kind of trying to get a feel for what's out on the map, even though their HP is so low. Neither one wanting to grind at this point for, you know, they're, they would be looking at 337 experience at this point, so I don't blame them. Absolutely not. Alrighty, it's too early. Grab the gold on the top floor, making his way, I believe, to... I, I'm not sure if he had already gone downstairs or not. I'm guessing from this Wraith Knight that he probably did. 
Uh, gonna go ahead and, oh, gets away from the Wraith Knight, doesn't even go for the sleep, just runs away. BT's on his way back to Rimaldar. Gonna, well, if he can get away from these Magitrack, he's gonna pick himself up. Yes, he gets into Rimaldar, and I imagine he's gonna go straight for that weapon shop. And we'll get a second look at what's available there. Oh, it looks like... Okay, so we have a full plate and large shield. So those are available to our runners if they choose to grind for them. Uh, but BT's picking up his hand axe, walking right on out. Oh, it's too early getting put to sleep by a Metal Scorpion. And gonna get hurt more blasted back to town. So unfortunately, I, if he picked up, it, he was right on top of one of those two treasure chests on the second floor. But unfortunately, not getting a lot of information uh, right away. So probably gonna head right back inside. Meanwhile, BT's... Uh, going right back into Tablet Cave. Okay, going into Tablet Cave for the first time, excuse me. And uh, one chest available here. Just going to take about 25 seconds for him to get to that chest and then hit that outside spell. So let's see whether or not this is going to be required for either one. Erdrick's Legendary Fermented Herb is all that we find. So, not required. Meanwhile, it's too early. Running into a wolf and running away from a, wo a wolf. Choosing not to try for that uh, 15 out of 16 sleep. BT's heading south, finding nothing. Gonna have to try to take out this scorpion. Not gonna have a problem with that. Gonna pick himself up a little more experience, almost at level 6. And after walking through this swamp, is going to head into some uh, unexplored territory. Meanwhile, it's to really... Wow, the run luck is strong with this one. Getting away from yet another Wraith Knight. And I do believe he should be close to finding uh, Rimaldar for himself. But getting put to sleep by a Poltergeist... Oh, man. All right, BT's got a wolf on his side. Let's see. He put it to sleep. And he's going to try again. And, yes, yeah, so it is 15 to 16. Uh, very good odds to put it to sleep. But, unfortunately, it just keeps waking back up. It's too early. Going to go ahead and try to fight this one out. And put to sleep. Let's see if he can wake up. Still asleep, BT takes out this wolf, he's gonna get level, he takes a huge chunk out of that experience, uh, deficit that he was in, gonna get himself that level, gonna be very happy to see that agility, I imagine. Meanwhile, runs into a wolf lord, runs away, it's too early, still fighting with this poltergeist, and does manage to take it out. So still maintaining a little bit of that experience lead is it's too early, but really needs to find that town of Rimaldar, but unfortunately is going to get sent back right to the starting castle as BTs takes out a skeleton and basically cuts that experience lead to zero, finding another town. And if he can get away from this metal scorpion, we may find out what that town is. Nope, we are going to be denied that information for a little bit longer as BTs is sent back to start by the Hurt, the Sleep, and Hurt More combo. And it's too early, maybe looking for that next level, it looks like. Um, not that far away, just over 100 experience away, so this Magician Kill... Uh, it's going to put him within 100 experience of that next level. Looks like he's going to go ahead and fight it out. Uh, for what it's worth, I completely support this decision. Um, that HP just a little bit too low for my taste here. So yeah, going to have no problem taking out these scorpions. And as long as you can find them, it's not going to take him too long to get that next level. BT's meanwhile, looks like he wants to try to get back to that town that he saw earlier. Uh, so good chance, you know, it could be Cole with the armor, you know, it could be, uh, Cantlin with a bunch of weapon shops, you know, there's a lot of opportunities still left for what that town could be, so BT's gonna do the aggressive exploring, but there are so many nasty enemies out here, push the Magic Wyvern to sleep, gonna run away. Oh, 
Oh, did fail to sleep on that Magical Wyvern, and unfortunately does get taken out. And gonna get sent back. Meanwhile, it's too early, about 50 experience points away from level 7. And if you're, if you're, it's too early, you gotta be thinking to yourself, the HP's gotta be coming. It's gotta be coming on this next level, and we can only wait and see. Looks like BTs might have the same idea. No, just fighting things. Just taking the battles that he can get, and it looks like he's still gonna continue his aggressive exploration tactic. It's too early. A ghost running away from It's Too Early finds himself another scorpion. I do believe this is still going to leave him a little bit short of the level. Yeah, he's going to leave him a little bit short of the level, but I do believe this ghost will get it once he takes it out here. Alrighty, level 7 for It's Too Early. Let's see what he gets. 13 power, 3 speed, 6 hit points! But the spell of Hurt More, alrighty, and it's too early. The first to get Hurt More at 26 minutes. BT's not far away, but still continuing his experience, his exploration here. And we're just gonna have to wait and see. Does he get? Is he gonna be able to get the? No, this this Metal Scorpion. He's gonna put him to sleep, cast Hurt More, send him right back to town. And it's going to be a little bit longer before BTs gets that level 7. Meanwhile, it's too early. Uh, with that 13 strength he gained, going to be able to take out this Magidraki. Alrighty, it's too early, taking a risk here, and manages to get the one shot, and does see the town right up above, finally finds the town of Rimaldar at 27 minutes. Accidentally uh, exits, gonna check his gold, and uh, alrighty, so not much further behind, BTs is gonna get his level 7, he is gonna get his hurt more spell, our seed is officially unlocked at this point. For all intents and purposes, BT is also getting the return spell. Interesting. I think he wants to maybe get some experience or some money here in uh, the mountain cave. Very interesting decision. Oh yeah, gonna go ahead and grind on these juicy enemies here. This uh, droll magi, one of the better enemies to uh, throw that hurt more spell at. Getting back to back droll magi, in fact. And he wants level 8, he <clears throat> he wants HP, it's too early, just uh, doing his uh, due diligence, checking this uh, chest here, getting his wings out of the chest in Rimaldar. And uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna go ahead and check the uh, weapon and armor shop here. Not gonna have enough money for much, I'm sure he'll buy what is available to him. Yep, gonna go ahead. Well, he's thinking about it. Yep, pulls the trigger on the leather armor. BTs get sent back by a uh, metal slime, and it's too early for the time being. Does maintain his experience lead. Alrighty, it's too early making his checks, uh, going through the treasury, and I imagine gonna go into the back and uh, check out the 
cave down there. And BTs, though, oh, Axe Knights. That's what BTs has been looking for. And this is going to propel him straight to level 8. Let's see what he gets now. 16 HP, still not great, but definitely better than it was before. And man, with these Axe Knights, he's going to fly through the next... Especially with the MP that he has, he's going to fly through the next uh, few levels. Yes, Beta Strap, you read that correctly. 25 HP at level 7. Uh, lots of agility and MP, but not a lot of strength or HP for either of our runners yet. But... The good news is they did get hurt more at level 7, so it's not going to take them very long uh, to get through. And uh, I did not quite see what cave It's Too Early just noped out of. He, he, went, he lit up a torch and then decided he didn't really want to go through that cave. BTs with that hand axe able to take out a magic or a Drakemon with no problem whatsoever. <laughs> a little bit of a command, command manipulation out of BTs is not going to prevent him from getting uh, hurt more down. As it's too early, gets himself level 8. And gonna, probably going to be a little bit disappointed by the HP, but uh, it's better than what he had before. Oh, level 9 here. And again, this agility, 74 agility at level 9, absolutely ridiculous. 49 HP at level 9, <clears throat> equally ridiculous, but for different reasons. Oh man, it's too early finding a town, but unfortunately getting slept and wrecked by the Metal Scorpion before he can figure out which town it is. I imagine he'll be headed right back in that same direction momentarily. Not long ago, these Wraith Knights were the bane of our runners, but now they are a boon, as they do give 72 XP per hurt more. And also going to go ahead and put a hurt on this Druin Lord for 58 experience. Meanwhile, it surely has not fully cleared the Mountain Cave. There is nothing of consequence in here, except for some gold on the top level. But that's not going to be a problem for either of our runners anymore. Um, he is going to be able to take himself out some, uh, some Axe Knights on his way through, clearing this out. So not a total waste of time here. Um, but unfortunately, he's not going to find anything important. He does have the outside spell that both of our runners do, so... It's going to be a pretty quick clear, unless this Druin... Okay, never mind. Druin does the sleep and flee tactic. And yeah, quickly here, it's too early. Going to be able to clear this out. Going to be able to get a move on for the rest of the seed. And BT's here, oh, gonna go for the Hurt More and Physical. Takes out this Werewolf, and now 102 experience away from level 10. Things moving fast and furious now that our runners have access to the most powerful spell in the game. Alrighty, BT's coming across the town of Hawk's Nest, and it looks like he is going to check and see what enemy we have here. And he's also going to get himself level 10. Let's see if they finally get some HP. Well, not a bad level by any means, but HP is still quite lacking here. And BT's is going to leave no more hurt mores. So no chance of being able to kill whatever boss is waiting. Meanwhile, it's surely still walking through that mountain cave, just trying to clear it out.
Slept and wrecked by Metal Scorpion. That is how this seed has gone. And Dragon Lord, two breath out of the Wolf Lord. Gonna send BTs back to start. But BTs also gonna be able to get his uh, MP back for uh, what do they have now? 20 billion Hurt Wars, I believe, is the number that they're sitting at right now. So um, BTs uh, going back to the back of Tantigil. Gonna top off his keys, and uh, I guess head over to the other continent. Maybe is what he wants to do now. And, oh man, one chest left, I guess, one or two chests left for it's too early. Did not quite clear out the mountain cave before getting bopped out. Now, fortunately, these Axites mean he is gonna be able to get himself a decent amount of experience here. But again, there are no important items waiting for it's too early down here, unfortunately. Yeah, 84 agility at level 10. Pretty hilarious. I can only wonder what their agility is going to be like by the end of the seed. As slept and wrecked by Metal Scorpion. Metal Slime running away from it's too early. It's too early. A little bit slow to pull that trigger. Little gun shy there, knows what's waiting for him if the Metal Slime doesn't run away, but fortunately it does. And with that torch, he's able to make much quicker progress. Doesn't have to go up to the top left. I imagine he's going to go right and down, and yes, he does. And only one chest left to check. He'd already checked that other chest. Is going to make a wrong turn here, and then is going to head straight for that last chest. I believe it was Wings, or potentially Fairy Water. Either way, uh, gonna get himself that last chest, gonna cast outside, gonna get a move on with finding all the other things that he needs to find. Ah, right, a free dragon scale for It's Too Early. And he does immediately put that on, and he immediately casts outside, and BT's finding Sherlock. So it looks like that was quite a bit east of start. Oh, actually, I believe that was on the opposite continent, so I do believe that uh, BT's was just in the swamp cave in the back of Tantagel, which... Uh, means that we are now in a one chance use only of seed for the death necklace. So, uh, uh, Breconary is guaranteed to be on the main continent, and then uh, if our runners uh, are in a position to use the death necklace, they will only have one viable shot, unless they save uh, right beforehand uh, to use that death necklace on the Dragon Lord. And it's truly really getting his first look at what is Swamp South. And does go ahead and cast that outside spell. Is going to check. Oh, actually, I believe that was on the same continent. Are we? Oh, we might actually be single continent here because I do believe we have seen this cave before. It's too early. Gonna take out this Magi Wyvern. Uh, fun fact, Magi Wyverns are the best bang for your buck in terms of experience per Hurtmore at 87. So what was once a, uh, again, a once a bane, now a boon, as it's too early. Very close to finding himself another town. Let's see what town this is. The town of Cantlin is discovered by It's Too Early first. I do not believe BTs has been here yet. So plenty of armor upgrades here. Gonna go ahead and pick up that large shield. Thinking about it. Pulls the trigger. 
And uh, I would imagine he's going to look for a broadsword here with keys. He has all the shops available to him. And uh, the coordinates as well. Plenty of heals to try and get through those uh, damage tiles. Yep, there is your broadsword. Magic armor available from both shops here. Gonna go ahead and upgrade to the leather armor first. I'm curious if he's gonna try to sell something in his inventory to get the money needed. Nope, gonna go ahead and uh, try to pick up these coordinates here. Now, all right, gonna walk carefully over these damage tiles as BT's, uh, meanwhile, very close to level 11, just a couple kills away. All right, taking very careful steps here. And just uh, rationing out his heals. Yes, Dugan MacGyver, there is gold in the treasury, so a gold grind is available. But BT's finding, I believe, a new town. And yes, Garenham, 54 north, 33 east. Fifty-four north, thirty-three east is the coordinates, and I'm not sure if he miscounted or if that was intentional. But it's too early. Does suicide on those uh, barrier tiles? BTS. I don't believe he found anything of great importance, but in the three chests in the back of Garenham. Let's see what cave is here. It is the Shrine Cave. This is where you would turn in your silver heart for the Staff of Rain. But as far as I'm aware, neither runner has the harp yet. So BT is making a note of that. And uh, going to go ahead and pop right back in here. Probably wants to check the weapon and armor shop. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, flame sword and silver shield. So we do have all of the gold grind items available. Magic armor and cantlin and uh, silver shield and flame available in Garenham. Now, what's interesting is that uh, It's Too Early has seen Cantlin and BTs has seen Garenham, but they have information now that the other does not. And BTs first to level 11. And again, a decent level. Lots of MP for these runners, but HP still lacking. 66 at level 11. 91 agility, 97 MP, only 66 HP, it's too early, reaching level 10, hoping for more HP, gonna be disappointed. Yes, on our tracker, it is worth noting that agility and MP are already in the green, and this green color does indicate that these are good values for going to fight the Dragon Lord. Uh, MP already in the orange on its too early side. And, uh, oh, it's too early. Picking up Prince Guimond, having the coordinates. Gonna go ahead and just, yep, he's gonna outside. He's going to head back to the castle. And shortly enough, he's gonna beeline for that search spot and uh, probably hoping for Erdrick's armor at this point. We will find out soon enough. BTs trying to take out an Armored Knight and does so. Armored Knight's looking pretty tame here. Yeah, Beta Strep noting in chat, by the time they get HP, they might defense break nearly everything. That is true. BTs finding a pair of caves here does find that jerk. Now he knows where to bring his three quest items to get that rainbow drop. So very interesting, diverging paths for both of our runners. It's too early with coordinates. It's too early with the princess. It's too early with the Gwalem positioning system. Gonna find that map item. BT's on the meanwhile has found Garen's grave. Gonna be able to clear this out. Probably gonna set himself up a gold grind afterwards. And uh, I, you know, I kind of hope that, uh, old oh, sword. Sword and a death necklace and a torch right there on top of Garen's grave. So I hope it's too early finds the armor on the map. Because otherwise he's going to find himself in a pretty big deficit.
Diverging paths, paying off for BTs. The only thing that he is behind in is the coordinates. Death Beckler is pretty much irrelevant. Do give him a diver. I mean, it looks that way right now. But uh, you never know when you could find yourself uh, getting 64 HP on a single level. I mean, yeah, Beta Strip, you bring up a valid point, but we have seen some insane games before. I do believe we have seen as much as 40 HP in a single level. So, never want to count your chickens before they hatch. I would rather... I would rather ha- you- it's randomizer, Duke MacGyver. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. And I would rather have the death necklace and not need it, than need it and not have it. So. BT's doing his due diligence. Gonna go ahead and check the last two chests. It's too early. Feeling a heart more. Gonna get sent back to town. Was about, um, was kind of in the vague direction of those coordinates, but it looks like they're gonna be a bit tricky. Even with the GPS as BTs. Finding himself an herb. Got one more chest left to check. And is very close to level 12 is BTs. Oh, it's too early. Getting himself some revenge against this armored knight. Gonna get himself that much closer to level 11. Pretty significant experience lead for BTs here, but uh, that could change in a heartbeat. As uh, it's too early, I believe this is a town that neither runner has uh, entered yet. We'll find out shortly. BTs making level 12. 4, 4, 4, and 1. Oh, there's two towns here for it's too early, so I do believe one of these has to be Breconary, and the other would be... Let me check my net notes here. So I do believe one of these should be Cole, and the other should be Breconary. So here's Breconary. So here's where we go to get uncursed. Here's where we go for our cheap in. And I did not see, unfortunately, what was on the bottom level of the grave. So if someone in chat caught it, uh, please let us know. Flame sword available, full plate available, lots of expensive and mid-range gear. And it surely is going to go ahead and buy himself that hand axe. And I do believe this is Cantlin for BT's. No, they go back to Garenham. And it surely make an interesting decision. Really, really wants to find that map item. And then could probably, if he doesn't die in the meanwhile, going to right, half plate purchase for BT's. And let's see, 61 to the south, 21 to the west. Let me scroll back here. Needs to go a little bit east and a little bit south. So it's too early. Very close to finding that map item. I think he needs to turn back west a little bit from where he is here. 55 to south, 33 needs to take one step to the left. Uh, needs to take, oh, never mind, one step to the south, and he finds the token. So, map item will be required. So, that is a slight lead here for It's Too Early in the quest item department. But, of course, BTs, with that Erdrick sword, the big stick, has a lead in the weapons department. Now, It's Too Early, it, I, I, what I'm hoping he does, unless I'm mistaken, and unless they've already been to that town that it's too early could see and couldn't get to, I would be beelining for it. Cause that, cause I'm pretty sure that's Cole and I'm pretty sure, you know, you got a chance of the armor just sitting right there for the taking. 
Hey, better the token than the fairy flute. And it's too early. Getting to level 11. Gonna be disappointed. Not a lot of HP, but heal more. Available at this level. So, I'm curious if BT's is gonna head back towards Hawk's Nest now. Uh, because without the coordinates, that's his best bet at getting the armor. And uh, making his progression through this particular seed. It's surely running into a wizard. The wizard looking pretty tame. Never mind, wizards have sleep. And they have Dragon Lord 2 breath. So, Caster's Curse coming through here for It's Too Early. I do apologize for that. Meanwhile, on BT's side, a red dragon trying to put a stop to BT's fun. BT's does have heal more, but his defense is still rather low. So the, And his HP, of course, low. And so no guarantee that he's ever going to be able to safely attack this thing. And uh, Ry Ryusation dropping the commands in chat. Please, please, please drop a follow on both of our runners. It's too early, and BT's very active in their own randomizer communities. And feel free to give myself and Ryusation a follow. Ryusation, very hardworking man behind the scenes. Uh, myself, uh, you know, I get on the mic every now and then. And uh, yeah, give us a follow if you don't mind. We would both appreciate it very much. All right, BTs is going to make the Hawk's Nest play. I think this is the smart play, given his position. It's too early. Going to find Garenham, and it's a stone man. BT's going to immediately put that thing to sleep and whack it to death with his big stick. Stone man staying asleep, staying asleep, wakes up. Let's see if it's got anything special. BT's going to keep whacking away at it, kills it. What do we have? Do we have the armor? Yes, we do. So that leaves the fairy flute either in coal or in a random treasure chest somewhere. And that means someone needs to call McGrew because this seed is hashtag not random enough. Kind of want want one of our runners to check coal just to see if we have the full vanilla. But regardless, we do have the token on the world map. We do have the armor in Hawk's Nest. I'm not sure that this is random at all. BT is with the armor. It's too early with the token. Both of them needing to do what the other has just done. Uh, it's too early doing a little bit of shopping here in Garenham, and then I imagine going to go to the back to check those treasure chests. But uh, Silver Harp's not there, because if it was, BTs would have the Staff of Rain. We know that much. What do we have back here? I missed it the first time. Here's round two. A torch. It's really just pot a bunch of those. Gonna throw away his dragon scale. Doesn't need that anymore. Curse bell. Probably gonna decline it. Does decline it. And finally, a magic key. Gets his key back. Gonna find the shrine cave. BTs, meanwhile, finds a wizard and runs away from it, probably saw that Dragonlord 2 breath and said, uh, no thank you. And fortunately with his Eredrix armor, that wasn't an instant kill. Red Dragon though, still nasty, still punching real hard. Can probably hit him for well more than his max, but he's gonna fight this one out. Gonna be a brave little boy, gonna stand his ground and try to pick up that 255 experience as he continues to explore the second continent. agility does allow it's too early to get away from that red dragon bts 
blasting this Armored Knight with Hurt Mark. Gonna blast this one as well, I imagine. Finding himself a whole lot of nothing in this eastern edge of the world map. Hello, Sparkover. Welcome back. Appreciate you joining us. BT's gonna get himself level 13. Does he finally get some HP? We've been waiting all season long. 18 hit points. Does get himself some HP. Not yet ready to fight the Dragon Lord, but much better than he was doing a moment ago. Does get a little bit of strength as well. And we have crossed 100 agility. We are now... Better than a 50-50 to run from anything in the game, with exception to maybe... No, I do believe we are 50% to run even from Dragon Lord 2. Nothing can escape our fleet foot. Fleet-footed BTs here. Welcome, Gameplay F9. Welcome in, everybody. Two RBTs in its too early matchup. We got an interesting one here, folks. We've got some diverging paths from our runners. I do believe BTs is about to come across the town of Hawks, or uh, not Hawksness, I'm sorry. I do believe this is Cantlin. Uh, let's see if it is. Nope, uh, Rogue Scorpion's gonna delay that a little bit. Yeah, BT, BT did get himself uh, a little bit of an early lead. So, uh, J. Coper Token is on the map. And, uh, Armor's in Hawk's Nest. So, uh, Harp is the last thing to find. We have not found the Harp yet. I do believe it would be in Stones of Sunlight Cave at this point. I think that's all that we have not found. Um. So, BT's finding Cantlin. Gonna get himself the coordinates. Probably gonna rescue the princess and get himself that token. BT's knows where the jerk is. BT's knows where the shrine is. BT's does not know, nor does anybody else at this point, where that shrine, that where that uh, Stones of Sunlight cave is. I really hope It's Too Early checks the search spot. He knows he doesn't need to. I hope he does. He's going to. Do we have a fairy flute? We do not. Fairy flute's in a chest. Fairy Flute has been randomized, but nothing else. Nothing else has been randomized. Fairy Flute actually has to be sitting in Sharlock at this point. So I find that a little bit hilarious. By the time you get the Fairy Flute, you don't need it anymore. But it's there in case you want it. Confirmed at this point. So yeah, just a little bit of a recap. Uh, starting stats were awful. We had something like 25 HP up until level 7. Uh, Hurtmar also, I believe, came at level 7 for both of these runners. So the early game is a little bit of a struggle. And uh, then things kind of opened up once they got Hurtmar. Uh, BT's, uh, took a little bit of an experience lead by going back into the Mountain Cave, which is right next to Start, and, uh, hurt mooring some, uh, Axe Knights. And, uh, that's about the long and the short of it. Uh, BT's just finding the right combination of things to hurt more. It's really doing a little bit more exploration, not getting quite as lucky. Uh, but, one, so It's Too Early does have the token. He did manage to get that, but that is the only thing that he has over BTs right now. BTs with Erdrick's sword, Erdrick's armor. Soon enough, he will have a token of his own. Probably looking for that uh, Stones of Sunlight cave before he does so, so that he can have all of the items together. Yeah, they had no HP, lots of things had hurt more, lots of things have sleep. It's uh, it's a pretty gross one in the early game. 
Yeah, lots of hurt more, lots of DL2 breath. Uh, Metal Scorpions in particular have both sleep and hurt more. So, yeah, not so easy in the early goings here, but uh, things have uh, stabilized. The BTs can easily take out this red dragon. Gets an excellent move to help speed this fight along. Yeah, Metal Slimes with Hurt More. So, and Metal Slimes were in the uh, Mountain Cave. In fact, BT's, his first encounter was with a Metal Slime. I'm sure he was thinking about punching his ticket straight to level 6. But uh, instead, was uh, sent back to start for his troubles. So... It's too early. Finding Sharlock. Gonna walk around here and try to find that Stones of Sunlight cave. Still needs to find Hawksness as well. And BT's increasing his experience lead, taking out a Rogue Scorpion. Well, oh, oh 2,000 now is the experience lead. So the sooner it's too early can put all these items together, the sooner you can start chipping away at that at that weave. Level eleven here for it's too early does get a little bit more in each stat. Nothing huge, nothing game changing. BT is gonna find coal. And let's see if uh, BTs is going to check the search spot. Yes, he is. He wants that fairy flute. Knows? Well, actually, no. He doesn't know that the token's not here. He does now. Thinks he checked the wrong search spot. He did not. He checked the correct one. Not even going to take the end. Just he's he's disgusted with Cole. Not even going to stay at the end. Not even going to give them the twelve gold or whatever that end costs. You get none of my money. He's going to go check this other town here. Still looking for that cave here. Is this it? Which cave is this? Oh, there it is! Right next to where It's Too Early was. This was this was on It's Too Early's screen. He went over to Cole. He went over to that other town. He was in the area of this cave. Unfortunately, he didn't. He just missed it. BTs has all the items put together. Welcome for on Burgundy. Yes, the agility is insane. BT is going to count out the coordinates, not going to rescue the princess. He has everything he needs except for the token. And he is going to count these coordinates out while it's too early. Tries to find the last two things he needs. If BTs can find this token, he can put it all together. It's his race to lose at this point. Jay Coper, I am inclined to agree, but I applaud his confidence. Yeah, I would uh, agree with Sparkover on this one. Uh, having seen a handful of those uh, tournaments that Angry Larry runs, I think you have to be pretty crazy to enter those. So... Alright, BTs. I do not believe he picked up the token. I believe he ran into a dead end and uh, hit the return. Maybe forgot where he was in his count. Yeah, he's going to get the princess. He he uh, he gave up on his count. He's going to go get the princess. 
and then uh, go find his map item. Oh, Spark Over Bridge on its too early side. Doesn't do the search, doesn't know about the memes. That's okay. Oh, maybe, wait, what's, oh, okay. BT's just uh, taking the shortcut, or is he? Is he gonna try to count? Did he find himself a landmark? I'm uh, curious what's, what BT's is thinking here. I think he wants to rescue the princess. I'm assuming that's what he wants to do. It's too early back in Garenham. Just gonna top off his MP here, I imagine. Uh, the meme is that uh, if you find a spark over bridge, you have to walk over and search the first tile on the other side of the bridge, just in case that it's the search spot. Uh, we've been kind of secretly hoping that the search spot would lead to one of those bridges to nowhere. That's just, that's kind of the joke there. As uh, BTS gets level 14, gets a little more HP, still yet more agility, 111 agility. Crossing that uh, 100 MP barrier as well. 85 defense without a shield. This is insane. I absolutely agree with Sports Hefe. Go buy a large shield. It will make a huge difference. All BTs needs to do is rescue the princess, get that token. Oh, BTs is out of keys. He's got to walk back to Rimmeldar. He knows where well, both of our runners do know where Rimmeldar is, so this isn't a big deal. But meanwhile, it's too early. Fangs the grave, gets the death necklace, gonna get himself a sword. Gonna be very happy to find that. That's one thing we can mark off for B for it's too early. He's got the sword. BT is going back through the mountain cave. I don't think there was a magic key here. Maybe he just uh, wants this gold. I'm not... Oh, BT might be setting himself up a gold grind. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's doing. Yeah, I do believe BT is just going to try and set himself up a gold grind. He wants that silver shield. I don't blame him at all. That silver shield is going to... He's going to be defense breaking stone men once he gets that silver shield. I, okay, you're yes, this is true. Uh, chat noting he can't unless there's one down here. I don't remember there being one down here. Yeah, unless there's one down here, you wouldn't be able to actually do a gold grind. So I don't believe there's one down here. So I'm not sure what BTs is looking for. Meanwhile, it's too early going through. Hoping that this, hoping against all hope that the harp is here in the grave. We know it's not. We know that he needs to find that Stones of Sunlight cave. It's too early, does not know that. He's making his last two checks. BT's is in the mountain cave. It is possible that he uh, never cleared this out. I thought he'd cleared it out a while back, but maybe he didn't. Maybe he's looking for a free key. Wow, damage breaking AK-47s. That's insane.
So maybe BTs was hoping for a free key, but doesn't get it. But that's fine. Rimbledar is not that far away. BTs can walk there as long as he took good notes or has a good memory. It's too early. Almost to the bottom of Garenham's grave. I don't remember what's here at the bottom. It is not the Stones of Sunlight. So not... Uh, or sorry, it's not the Harp. So... Not going to be able to do that. Um, BTs... Yep, get, just going to go back to Rimmeldar. Going to go ahead and pick up some more keys. Oh, a pile of gold. Okay. Thank you, Ryu. It's too early. Getting level 13. Getting 20 hit points. He'll be happy with that. And in fact, BT's at 95 hit points at level 14. And we know that it's too early. We'll be able. He will have enough HP to fight the Dragon Lord starting at level 14. But strength is still a little bit lacking. BT's going to need at least one more level. Probably more than that. But BT's needs to get that token. It's too early. Needs to get the heart. It's too early. Also, I believe does not know where the shrine... Where, as he knows where the shrine is. It's in back in Garenham. Right. Doogie MacGyver, that is correct. 97 is the generally accepted minimum uh, for fighting Dragon Lord. Oh, it's too early. Finding the jerk... So he has the jerk, he's got the shrine, he knows where to turn his items in. All he needs to do is find that silver harp waiting in the Stones of Sunlight cave. And the sooner he finds that... Sorry, I take that back, he needs also to find Hawk's Nest for the armor. So two things to find for It's Too Early. And we may have a race on our hands. Cutting that experience lead was at 2,000, now down to 1,400 as BTs tries to put the items together. It's surely really not confident enough in his hand axe strats to try to take out that red dragon, but will pick up even more experience off of this armored knight. Gonna cut into that experience lead even further. As BTs coming across Garenham is gonna turn in that silver harp for the Staff of Rain. And then I imagine he's going to Head up to the Jerk, get that Rainbow Drop. No, he still needs the token. Forgive me. Apologies, folks. A mix-up of items here. BTs has things that It's Too Early doesn't. It's Too Early has things that BTs doesn't. I apologize. BTs using that Gwalem positioning system to try to figure out where he is. And I imagine both of our runners virtually high-fiving each other, unaware of it, probably thinks that the other person is in Sherlock by now. Probably thinks that they are way behind. So BT's is too far north, and I believe he needs to be on a different part of this continent to really figure out where this token is. It's too early, meanwhile. Heading back through the second continent. Trying to find his way to that armor, but instead gets Wizard Flame Breath to the face, going back to the castle. BT's Tracing his footsteps. Not quite aware that he's tracing his footsteps. He's close. BT's is close. To where that token lies. Getting the return spell. Okay. Interesting. 
Not sure why he chose to do that. Maybe he thinks it's on this continent. But uh, he was actually not very far away from where the token lies. If memory serves, it is near that Swamp Cave exit that was on BT's screen when he hit the return spell. So gonna take a little bit longer to find that token. Gonna give It's Too Early a little more time to find Hawk's Nest and find that heart. Blocked by a wizard with 93 agility. Blocked twice, in fact. And put to sleep. Wakes up. Blocked again! And I have to say that that is some punishing RNG. Unfortunately, it fortunately does not die as a result of his failures to run. And finding what cave is this? I do, I think I've forgotten. Oh, this is tablet. It's too early. Only just now finding the tablet cave. Nothing of importance here, but he does have outside, so this won't take long. BTs has found his way over to the search spot, is about one square away. Gets the token. BTs has all the items. He knows where the jerk is. He knows where, uh, he knows where Sherlock is. BTs is in go mode. All he's got to do is get that rainbow drop and pick a grind spot. That is it for BTs. A commanding position here with about a 1500 experience point lead over It's Too Early. BTs in very good position to potentially advance to the bracket stage. No, Jake Hopper, I, he, he never did. Uh, I don't know if he was trying to set up a gold grind, but he did have a key uh, at the time. So no, uh, no shield as of yet uh, for BTs. I do hope that he, uh, if he doesn't already have one, maybe we missed it. I do hope he picks up a large shield soon, because uh, that would be pretty significant for him. It's too early. Walking by Hawk's Nest might be kicking himself right now as he may have thought that that was a different town. Fortunately, he did pop in here. Should have no problems beating up this stone man because he's got a big stick. He's got sleep. He's got heal more. He's going to go ahead, put it back to sleep. And once he makes this kill, he is going to pick up his armor. BT is getting the rainbow drop. Now all he's got to do is pick a grind spot and decide when he is ready to take on the Dragon Lord. Where is BT's going to go? BT's taken out by a red dragon, does not get the kill, does get a free ticket back to the starting castle.
it's really showing how showing off how much agility he has just runs away from a red dragon on the overworld map not a problem not a care in the world bt's meanwhile with a red slime on or a metal slime on his screen takes that hurt more like a champ right on the chin and keeps swinging away metal slime runs away it's too early he is so close the cave is going to be on his screen there it is that is where the Silver Harp lies. It's too early, has all the information that he needs to put together the items and be in go mode himself. He's got to turn in that harp in the back of Garenham. He's got to turn in that, uh, he's got to turn in that, uh, all the other items for the rainbow drop. And that is right next to the, uh, the grave where he found the sword. So as long as he took good notes or has a good memory, he'll be in go mode here shortly. BTs looks like he may be going to dive Sherlock. Now, does he want to grind here? Or does he want to just see what's inside? Or does he simply want to put the rainbow drop down while he's here? Sometimes you're just right next to Sherlock. You're like, I don't want to go in yet, but I just want to put down the bridge. Let's see what BTs wants to do. Level 15, I believe, is 7,500. Yeah, level 15, 7,500 experience. And then every file after that is... Or every, sorry, every level after that file... Did I say file? Every level after that is uh, going to be 2,250. Yeah, 2,250. Uh, up until level 18, I believe. And yes, BTs can try... And he can fail. He can get taken out by a werewolf. So that's very unfortunate. It's too early, meanwhile. Back in Garenham, gonna go pick up that Staff of Rain. And then I imagine gonna go back and get his Rainbow Drop. It's too early, kept good notes, has good memory, grabs the rainbow drop, he is in go mode. We got a race on our hands. There is an experience differential, but BTs doesn't want to do a traditional experience grind. He wants to dive. He wants to dive, dive, dive. He wants to get information about what's in here and potentially get a level on the way down. And maybe level 15 will be the magic level. Gonna require a lot more strength, I think. But who knows? We could get, you know, 30 strength on the next level and then BTs would be making the right play. Or we could need level 17. Don't know yet. Gotta find out. Stay tuned, folks, to see when we will be ready to fight that dragon lord
Meanwhile, Duke and MacGyver did throw down a link in chat for more information. If you want to learn more about the randomizer, feel free to join our Discord. If you want to download the randomizer and try it for yourself, you can do that as well. And you can look at the schedule and the brackets, uh, not at the challenge link. We don't, we're not using challenge right now for the Swiss rounds. Uh, but uh, we do have that Google Sheet up. BTs may have a large shield too, as a matter of fact. I am not positive. It's been a while. Uh, but BTs may actually have a large shield, so we can confirm. It's too early. Does have a large shield. Does have 91 defense. Is defense breaking a lot of stuff? Well, Axe Knight, uh, hitting for 9 might be damage-breaking, or it might just be the low end. Uh, it's when you see a max of 12 or whatever, uh, to, uh, to, to confirm for sure whether that's damage-breaking or not. BTs, meanwhile, almost to the bottom floor of Sherlock, has barely expended any of his MP. He may just try to grind on the spike tile down here and see what's going on with that. He, he wants to see what's going on with the spike tile in front of the Dragon Lord. Now, he doesn't really have a chance of try fighting the Dragon Lord with these stats. And is trying to run away from this Armored Knight. Will be forced to heal 111 agility. Gotta be a 60 to 70% chance to run. Can't do it. Does cost him a heal more. And yeah, straight up sprint to the bottom, BTs, ignoring the treasury, knows that there is nothing of value inside. Just gonna go see what's on that spike tile. It's surely on the other hand has chosen his grind spot. He is grinding on Armored Knights. Two hurt mores per Armored Knight. Oh! We have a blue dragon for BTs now. One thing I want to mention here. BTs does have that large shield. I do believe he has that large shield. He is very close to defense breaking blue dragons. And he's going to get this level here. If he gets a significant amount of agility, let's take a look. Nine power, nine agility... Not a lot of HP or MP. Is he gonna fight? BTs going for it. Nothing to lose. Everything to gain. He's going for it. I I don't even wow. Okay. I've never seen anyone YOLO like this. Let's do some math. 13 to 7 damage. 90 defense. He's walking in here at 12. I, I believe he's ro rolling 8 average damage. With 12 heal more as 14 attacks? No way. No way he does this. BT's taking a huge risk. But I do believe that he is doomed. Meanwhile, it's too early. Not a problem taking that... Uh, Not, no problem with the Armored Knight grind. So I do believe, depending on how long this fight takes, I think that It's Too Early is going to completely erase this experience lead. And you know what that means, folks. We have a race. We have a race. Unless BTs can land about three 1 in 16 Hurtmores... We got a race on our hands, folks. I'm not counting the damage here. I saw a 12. BTs needs a lot of 12s to have a chance of winning this fight. But the longer he fights this Dragon Lord, the more, the closer and closer it's too early gets to catching up on experience. He is getting decent damage rolls. 
I have not kept track on what his damage actually is. It will, uh, it's, it, we're just going to have to wait and see. If, if we get that uh, Thou Hast Killed, the Dragon Lord, I will be shocked beyond belief. So we're just going to have to watch. No crits to save BTs. It's all up to these damage rolls. 13 is his max. He is swinging very close. Going for the Olo Hurt more. I don't think he's got enough left. One more shot. Does not land. Dragon Lord has taken out BTs. If we look at his two early screen, he has cut this experience lead down to a mere less than 300, maybe 250. He is going back to get his HP and MP refilled. I'm actually curious what uh, It's Too Early is doing right now, why he decided why he chose to leave. Uh, maybe he wants to heal somewhere. Okay, there's a town. Wait, what? What's it? What's he doing? Very confused as to what's going on on its early screen here. Okay, it's too early putting down the rainbow drop. Oh, I see. But he, he, he's out of MP, so I guess he's doing this for information, but he's not diving right now, he doesn't have any MP. Oh, Werewolf showing off, uh, wow, Werewolf showing off some nasty Dragon Lord 2 breath and a dodge as well. Uh, Duke and MacGyver, that is correct. The only thing of any importance uh, in those chests is the um, the Fairy Flute. So now, level 15 for It's Too Early. Not going to be quite enough room to think about fighting the Dragon Lord, but he's close. He's very, very close. One more level could do it. And yeah, BT is grinding on. Actually, oh, I see. BT has went back to the mountain cave to grind Axe Knights. That's what he's chosen to do. He's grinding Axe Knights. They do appear fairly often on this first floor of the mountain cave. He's right next to Spark. Uh, Duke and MacGyver, Hawks' monster was a stone man. And Swamp Spike Tall is an AK-47. And that's where It's Too Early was grinding while BTS is making his dive. It's Too Early cut this experience lead by grinding on AK-47s, and they have to imagine he's going to go back there now, knowing that he needs at least one more level. But he may try to fight his way down. He may do that. It looks like that is what he's going to do. He's so close. He's very, very close. So here we go, folks. It's too early. Not messing with the werewolves. Doesn't want to take that difference. Why is there a, a defense point difference? Because uh, in uh, Dragon Warrior, your defense is your agility is half your agility plus any benefits granted by your equipment. And BTS has higher agility than it's too early uh, because of his name. Your name influences your stats. That's why you see the plus sign on strength and agility for BTs and strength and HP for it's too early. So BTs is going to have more agility than it's too early, and it's too early is going to have more HP than BTs. And that's why BTs has more defense power. So it's too early running away from a lot of these encounters. If he wants to fight, maybe he doesn't want to fight. Maybe he thinks he could just do it right here, right now. With 113 MP, I gotta wonder. 
I got to wonder, maybe he thinks that with 107 HP and 95 defense, he can get enough double attacks to do it. And maybe he can't. I'm not sure. But he's taking a shot. He's not fighting. He thinks he can do it. Maybe he thinks he's behind. In which case, he'd be correct. But he might not be as behind as he thinks he is. And BTs, while he's grinding in the mountain cave, could have this entire race swept out from under him momentarily. Let's find out. Right, yes, he's not using... Yes, a very uh, astute observation from Sports FA. Not using Radiant, does use the Torch. Not using any MP, not attacking anything. He's diving for the win. And if he pulls this out, I will be very, very, very impressed. 13 to 7 is the damage range. An average of 10. Sitting on 14 heal more, 16 attacks. He could do it. Especially if he gets any extra doubles. Odds are not great, but they are there. He needs all of his heal mores, though, for sure. One double attack would help, but if he gets a lot of sevens, things can get real scary real fast. Meanwhile, over on BT's side, looking for 9750. That is the magic number for level 16. BT's almost there. But we may get a dot done before he can get there. It just might happen. Oh, BT's went back to grind the uh, AK-47s. So. So he'll get that momentarily. And we'll see. It's probably going to be trivial at 16, unless it's one of the. It's unless it's a garbage level like some of the ones we saw earlier. We saw a 4441 level earlier. That's not going to help out too terribly much. Blue Dragon here on the spike tall for it's too early. Not going to have a problem. I do believe he's got all of his herbs, so he's going to be able to throw those. He's going to be able to use those herbs, patch himself up. Walk over to the Dragon Ward. Probably going to use one more herb here real quick. There's the max. Hold B. Don't soft lock. Say no. He does. Thou art a fool. And back attacked by Dragon Lord 1. Takes Hurt more to the face. Takes a 2 damage physical. Yes, folks. A 2 damage physical from Dragon Lord 1. And going straight into that Dragon Lord 2 fight, probably did not expect to kill, but that's okay. Gets that first drag that attack off and a 12. Swing close to max. Level 4 BTs. One attack power, 3 HP. Has to keep grinding a 7 for it's too early. 19 damage is my count. Twenty-five damage. Some very unfortunate rolls here for it's too early, and a, a decent one here. Thirty-seven, I believe, is the count. Needs a physical, does not get one, and yeah, six damage. I don't know exactly how that happened. His minimum. Oh, I do believe because his maximum is 13, I believe the game will round down to six instead of six and a half. Exactly. Yeah, Ryusation dropping the explanation in chat. I have lost my count. I believe we're around 50 damage. Things are looking a little dicey for it's too early. So counting from 50, we have 63. And a large physical out of the Dragon Lord. Not granting any respite to It's Too Early. 79 says Beta Strap. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust his count. So we're going to start from 79. 
And we're moving up to 85, folks. Ah, it's looking real dicey. We're halfway through. It's too early. Is almost out of MP. He needs to start doing hurt mores. 95 is the count that I have. One oh six with three heal mores left. We need to see double physical and not physicals like that. One eleven. It's hurt more time. It is hurt more time. It's too early, not gonna do it. He's gonna try his best. One twenty two needs a triple to have a chance. Probably not going to get it. Let's find out. 133. Last attack. 145. No chance. Could have done it on the next attack. Did not get one. 145 damage. Just short. And BTs with a nearly insurmountable, I would have to say, experience lead. Looking for 12,000, uh, sorry, looking for 12,000 even. Uh, Doogie MacGyver, it's 150 to 165 as several people in chat have answered. Yeah, BT is very close to level 17. Getting the Kaishin no Ichigeki. Yeah, very, very unfortunate rolls for it's too early. Getting a very unnecessary critical hit on that Drakeema to take it out is BT's. Saving his, a saving his MP. Trying to take out a couple more ar armored knights before he uh, goes back. Ryu, I would agree from the commentator's booth. But unfortunately, that's a hard decision to make. I have to believe that's a really hard decision to make. And so unfortunately, as It's Too Early tries to do his grind here, BT's gonna suicide to this Armored Knight. Needs 52 experience to get to level 17. And I have to imagine that level 17 is gonna be the go level. BT is looking for anything, one item, uh, to, or, sorry, one enemy to get him that last level. Got to wait for the Repel to run out. Finds a wizard. Wizards have Sleep and Dragonlord 2 Breath. I don't think BT's knows that. Does take out the wizard. Gonna get that level. Let's see what he gets. He gets 5 power. 1 speed, 0 HP, 0 MP. Ryu Station giving us spoilers. Uh, but odds are looking much, much better for BTs here on level 17. I think he can do it. I think he thinks he can do it. He's taking the end. He's dropping to Repel. And he's going to go for it. Now, is this a lock? I don't think so. I don't think this is a lock. I think that there is a chance that depending on rolls, BTs could still lose this fight. And personally, 
I want to see a photo finish. I want to see It's Too Early get level 17. I want to see them on Dragon Lord 2 at the same time. I want to see this Dragon Lord be as mean as possible to these two runners here. But there is a good chance that BTs wins on this dive. While It's Too Early tries desperately, hoping that level 16 is the go level. Unfortunately, it will not be. We already know this. BT says, or It's Too Early got a long grind ahead of him. And he needs to hope that something takes BTs out, whether it be a random enemy or the Dragon Lord himself. And here comes level 16 and a hearty serving of disappointment for It's Too Early. I don't know what spell he got. All the spells come at level 16, guaranteed. So whatever spells he was missing, he just got them. And he knows he's got to go to 17. He knows he's got to go to 17. He's already tried diving once and failed. He only got one attack power that's not going to help him out much. So he's going to go heal up and head right back to the Swamp King. Furon Burgundy did the math and weigh 168 for the win as long as BT's rolls average ran for 16 to 8. So an average damage of, I believe, 11 off of that. Yeah, 11 or 12. So we'll keep track here once he gets there. We'll definitely be keeping track. And it's too early going back in. He got one attack power, four HP, thinks he's behind, going for it again. Here we go, folks. BT's looking pretty good. Not an overwhelming favorite, looking good. It's too early, looking a little bit behind. Not much different than his last position. A little more HP for potential doubles. One more attack power, depending on who you ask. Not going to make the difference. Yep, side-by-side -side Charlock dies, BTs with a slight positional advantage over It's Too Early. Potential for simultaneous Dragon Lord 2 fights here. Of course, their stats are not the same. BTs in the U-Bend. Gonna be hitting those stairs shortly. Then just needs to hold right. It's Too Early, hot on BT's heels. And that, from Burgundy, is why I call BT's... I say he's got a good chance, but he is not the overwhelming favorite. Because we saw what happened It's Too Early, and the same thing could happen to BT's very easily. Very, very easily. Now, Charlock enemies themselves not proving too much of a problem here. And BT's making his way down. Gonna take out this blue dragon on the spike tile here as it surely makes his way through the U bend. 111 agility, still not enough to get away from these. Uh, Ryu, I knew someone was gonna do that. Thank you, I appreciate it. I had that song playing in my head. You called it. All right, BT's talking to the Dragon Lord. Holding B is a fool. 
It's Too Early. Uh, Sports Hefe, I strongly disagree. I don't particularly like that song, but I think it's far from the worst song ever. Uh, BT is going to take three attacks to kill this Dragon Lord one. Probably going to herb up here. He's thinking about it. He's thinking hard. No herbs! No herbs for BTs. Burning a heal more. He is down to 15 attacks, folks. This just got a little more dramatic. He forgot to buy herbs. Does he get back attacked by DL2? No, he does not. But he's going to lose an attack here at the start. 11 damage. Now, I'm going to need Chad's help here. I'm going to track BT's damage. Someone else is going to need to track its to release damage. 19 for BT's. Jake Hopper, I'll get back to you on that. 19 for BTs, 34 now for BTs. Three attacks, a little bit below average. I say 34, now we are at 44 for BTs. Still a little bit below average. 44, now 53. Swinging well below average is BTs. Things are looking a little dicey. Now, uh, I believe, 63. 63. 75. Stop spells for early going in with max HP. Needs good rolls. 82 is the count that I have for BTs. Halfway through, burning his HP. Not sure he's going to make it, but he could do it. 80, uh, um, oh man, I'm losing the count on BTs here. I believe he's at 97 is what I'm, it was what I believe he's at. 97, 1, 111, if I'm correct. Heal Morris gets a low physical. 125. Another attack here, another low attack, another potential. 139. BTs could do it if he gets some more good rolls. But he's not getting any doubles here. 150 for BTs. He could do it. I think he's got it, folks. I think we're about to see a heartbreaker for it's too early. That's it! BTs has done it. 162 damage is my count. Break out your GGs. BTs has won this. And as soon as he dot duns, I'll get you the official SRL time. It's too early. Gonna see the dot done while on Dragon Lord 2. That is the heartbreaker. BTs has finished in first place with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 23 seconds. All right, and with that thing, I do believe we have BTs in chat with us. BTs, GG, man, how you feeling? Oh, yeah. Congrats, BTs. How you feeling about that seed, man? Um, that was interesting. The The map sprawl was crazy, and uh, it actually was two continents. Oh, and on his second-to-last attack, It's Too Early. You guys, by the way, were on Dragon Lord 2 at the same time. Um, it's Too Early, tried it on 15, uh, came up just barely short, tried it again on 16 and 1, but you got there just a little bit before he did. So he's going to finish not, not too far behind you. Uh, there's the dot done. It's too early finishes. 
in second place with an SRL time of 155.04. BT dropping the wows in chat. You guys were so close. That is right. So very close. Most of the way. And in fact, it's very interesting, as I'm sure it's too early, we'll possibly mention. You guys took very uh, divergent paths in the mid game. There was a point where uh, you, BTs, had the sword and the armor. Whereas it's too early, uh, found Cantlin before you did, got the princess as soon as he saw those coordinates and got himself the token. I did but, not uh, do those things. Right. No, and, and, uh, and it was very interesting. So I'm kind of curious, uh, you tried to do the count, uh, without rescuing the princess. Did you feel confident about that or, or were you trying to save time or what was the decision? There? I was super confident. I was gonna be able to walk there. And you could see the land masses were nearly touching. And I was like, oh, well, I can memorize this geography, get on the other side of the continent, and then count from where I was. But it turned out to be on the same continent, not the other one. So I was like, well, I have to get the princess. This, this is not salvageable. Yeah, that's what uh, It's Too Early ended up describing the princess immediately after seeing those coordinates. And uh, we do believe we have It's Too Early here with us. It's Too Early. GG, man, how you feeling? Uh, GG to BTs. Uh, congratulations on your win and securing your place in the elimination bracket. Uh, <clears throat> I'm feeling okay. That was uh, really, really close. Um, closest race I've had yet in the tournament. Absolutely. Yeah, I was just telling BTs, you guys had a little bit of a divergent path. Um, BTs found uh, the grave with Eredric's sword and also Hawksness before you did. Uh, but you actually found Cantlin. You got the coordinates. You immediately went and grabbed the princess and found the token before BTs did. So you guys spent quite a, quite a while kind of searching for what the other had found. And uh, BTs uh, had a, quite an experience lead, uh, kind of uh, while he was doing that search. Uh, but you guys, fortunately, uh, came together kind of in the end. Uh, BTs put everything together just a little bit sooner, got into Charlotte just a little bit sooner, but failed to dive. So BTs, I do want to ask you, you once you put everything together, you just went immediately into Sherlock instead of doing an experience grind. Did you just think the enemies weren't... Uh, they, you just, they weren't to your liking, or what was your thought process there? I had a ton of MP. I had a level up coming. Everything was coming up in Miller House, and then I got one attack power on my level up, and I tried to hurt more the Dragon Lord because I thought that would be an especially heinous way to win that race. Yeah, I, I have to agree with that. So, so you went in like knowing that at a certain point you were going to start doing hurt mores, or kind of what was your what was your thought process there? Uh, no, I mathed it out. If um, I didn't, if I got, I didn't have to heal more. Dragon Lord one, I would have been in a much better situation. I would have just needed slightly better rolls. Uh, 126 attack is my minimum for facing the Dragon Lord, and I had about 120 agility, so I assumed I'd get at least one double attack, but nothing came up that way at all. Even when I had the extra agility and extra HP, I still never got a double, and that's insane. Like, he'd hit me for 26, but then he'd hit me for 40 right after, so there's nothing I could do. Yeah, it was a little unfortunate. Uh, it's too early, I believe. Maybe got some, maybe snuck some doubles in on his second attempt. Uh, but uh, yeah, kind of uh, similar fates. And with that, uh, I believe there was a six attack power difference between fifteen and seventeen. So that kind of made the difference for UBTs. It's too early for what it's worth. Uh, valiant efforts on uh, his on uh, his first dive got very close, but uh, came up a little bit short unfortunately. Yeah, I wasn't counting uh, specifically how many uh, how much damage I had in the drag one, but I must have been real close to killing him in that so, second time. He got uh, a backstab, and, but I got a double out of it, so that evened out. Yeah, you got the stop zone from DL1, but unfortunately got the back attack from DL2. But yeah, that first attempt, uh, I believe the count was 144. Um, so, but we, what we do, uh, I, I believe what we kind of know now from BTs, I believe BTs went from 150 to 162, so kind of hard to know if you had a chance, if you got maybe one more attack out of that. 
But uh, yeah, BT is unfortunately sealing it there at the end. But yeah, you guys are both on Dragon Lord 2 at the same time. Uh, you know, excellent, excellent uh, finish to the race. Very fun to watch. And also, again, as I said before, divergent paths out of both of you guys. Um, you guys kind of found different things at different times. Um, and But then put it together at the end. So, BTs, any final thoughts on this one? Um, one question I have is... How many metal slimes did It's Too Early get? Because I think I got three. Uh, I did not get many, and the first one uh, hit me with hurt more, so I mostly stayed away from them. But yeah, I didn't. I hardly see, saw any. Yeah, so both of you guys, both of you guys immediately walked into the mountain cave for, uh, at the beginning of the race, and immediately, I believe, BTs, you got a knight. And it's too early. Got a metal slime, and both of you guys got a quick trip back to Tantage. So yeah, then my first time in the swamp cave, I got metal slime hurt ward too. Um, uh, I really, I don't know if you saw, but at one point I encountered a wraith knight, and then I had to stop to look up his sleep resistance. I noticed that. I was wondering if that's what you were doing. I was like, I, I'll never get this far in the mountain cave again. I better see what's going on. And I was like, oh, sweet. 69% chance to sleep. And I tried it, and then he fell asleep, and I ran away. Yeah, I, I did notice the pause there. So very heads-up play from you. Yeah, for sure. But all around, that was a very technical seed. Um, very, oh, the... The map was so much like my previous uh, Swiss race that I guess I thought I was on the wrong seed for like half the game, but then I realized that there's metal slimes everywhere, and so that couldn't have been the case. But um, this is one of the um, most I don't know well generated, well randomized maps I've ever played on. It, it was a absolute pleasure to visit every tile and then know where the silver harp was before I had it. That's funny. Yeah, I, yeah, we had uh, also deduced by process of elimination that it had to be in the, uh, the Stones of Sunlight Cave, so it was just a matter of finding that. Um, so yeah, it's too early. You got any uh, final thoughts on this one? Uh, that was uh, that, that was that was a pretty fun scene. Pretty straightforward. Nothing, nothing terrible. Um, I, I mean, I'll say the 19 HP or whatever at level five is pretty terrible, but. Uh, yeah, it took a while to get some some HP. The first like four or five levels was straight up uh, scorpion grinds, basically. Yeah, I was on small Z instead of big Z, and that's probably my biggest mistake. Oh, do you not normally go strength agility? I uh, I usually go big Z or or small D, but uh, I don't know MP agility would be good or. Yeah, strength HP. Interesting. Yeah, I've been running strength agility myself this entire tournament. I liked being able to run from things in Charlock, and with 121 agility, it's not very difficult. Good God, that was. I, w I couldn't run from a an X knight at all. Yeah, and I saw uh, there was a point on its too early side too where he had like uh, over 100 agility and failed to run from a wizard about four times. So, I was waiting for them to sleep and kill me. Yeah, right? I was kind of waiting for it too, because they had uh, Dragon Lord 2 breath, so... So, alright, well, uh, Sparkover doing us a favor and dropping links in chat. Please follow both of these runners, uh, twitch.tv slash it's to release, which, and twitch.tv slash BTs, both of these guys. Huge fans of randomizers in their own right, so please follow them for more of that content. Feel free to follow myself as well and my hard-working behind-the-scenes partner, Ryu Seishin, doing both the restreaming and tracking today. Absolutely getting all of that heavy lifting in there as well. And uh, BTs, once again, congratulations locking yourself into that elimination tournament. Yeah, GG. Uh, Thank you so much, and thanks for the restream and the commentary, and uh, absolute pleasure to play a close match with you. It's early. GG. I will do my best to uh, make you come back in the last chance race and meet up with you again in the, in the uh, elimination bracket. Yep, and there's potential that I might see uh, BTs in that elimination bracket, as neither of us are guaranteed buys in the first round. And it's too early. Best of luck to you. 
uh, in that last chance race. I'm sure that uh, you will do your best and it's going to be an exciting one. Uh, in the meantime, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you everyone so much for watching and uh, stay tuned as we are going to kick it over to Randomania 1 where they are wrapping up a Pentaforce Zelda 1 match. So going to be very exciting. But uh, on behalf of myself, Ryu Station, BTs, It's Too Early, and everyone else from Randomania, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much, and have a wonderful evening. <laughs>